Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 27. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, welcome to the Suzuka Circuit. We have, uh, so so far at the moment, we are 30 points in the championship. The next bike behind us has 18 points, which means they've won all last three races. If they win every single race from now on and we get minimum points, they will end up with 38 and we will end up with 36 if we come last in every single race from now. So if we come third in the next two races, which is four points, will be at the same amount as them if they come first in the next two. So, yeah, fair. we're in a safe zone now. We come second at all and come fourth, then we've won. So we come second in this race, we've won. Cool, let's do it. Stop talking and race. I'll have a bit of beverage as well. Make sure I am uh, very well hydrated. You don't want to dehydrate while racing, that's for sure. Okay, so the S bends aren't my strong point, um, especially on these ones. If you're talking about like Apricot Hill with the S bends there. They are amazing, and I love it. But uh, these S-Bends on Suzuka are a little bit more difficult for me, personally. We're also going to be doing our first race on that other track as well, in a minute. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but the next track, it will be the first race that we've done on that. Right, need to make sure we slow down for here. Slow down for spoon as much as possible. I didn't realize actually how long the Suzuka circuit is because obviously it's like just two sections. You go up one side, down the other, pretty much. And it's a very long circuit. Like, sort of like, not in length plays, but like in the. Uh, we've fallen off. In the amount of area that this track actually takes up is insane. Whereas tracks like the next track that we go into. Would probably take maybe a little bit less to do a lap, but uh, it is so much track in the area that they're given, it's insane. I mean, you look at this though, a lap time here is about 2 minutes 20, even on these bikes. In F1, easily a minute 40 to go around Suzuka. With I think Suzuka is actually one of the second longest track, either the second or the third longest track in the F1 2020 calendar. That was going to be before COVID. Obviously, Spa actually goes over the regulations for Formula One. The Spa circuit is actually too long for F1, but they still go for it. The main street's too short for the regulations and all that. But because it's so historic, they can't get rid of it. Same as Monaco. It's too short. If a brand new track came around like Monaco, they wouldn't be allowed to use it because it is too short. Monaco's like... I think it's like... What? 
300 me 300 400 meters too short for their like criteria and the next shortest track is Austria which is surprising as well because even though Monaco is like half the length it takes like twice as long to do a lap it's stupid very nice That has been the F1 discussion. <laughs> it's it's weird. I always discuss about F1 in like the most weirdest games. Taurus Trophy. That's the second time we've messed up that corner. Look at that. Just me go splat right at the end of the road there. Okay. Nobody saw that. Right, I really do need to try and not fall off. Because otherwise we're not going to get that um, position. <coughs> Pardon me. The fact is, second place is so close to first. That if I'm going to get second, I'm probably going to get first as well. So it's either third or first, really. And through the S-Bends, we gain so much time. Surprisingly, it's my most uncomfortable part of this track. I don't really like it too much. I mean, I like the corners in, like, F1 and that. Oh, my God, you've got to be joking me. But in these super bikes, it's a nightmare. 6.3 seconds. Awesome. Massive corner cut there. Right, so what I think I'm going to do this time, I'm going to look for the timing line. As my breaking reference for this corner. Because if we mess it, mess this next corner up again, we've got no hope. So I am going to use the timing line as a reference point to break. And we'll start from there improve it on the next coming laps. Wow. That was perfect. This was horrendous. Hey, hey, that, that happened in our favor. Okay. You can see why when I say on the super license it took me so many attempts to do Suzuka, you can now see why. Because it is such a tricky track. The break-in reference points, there are none that are decent enough for bikes. They're all car reference points. Okay, we're in second. First is just up ahead. I can't speak. Our rear tyres are already wearing out, and bearing in mind this track is much, much longer than the rest, um, I don't think it's going to survive. The rear tyres are definitely going to be dead. Guaranteed. Oh, shit. I don't think bikers are supposed to fall off this often. This has definitely not gone in my favour at all. Mike behind was catching up, but uh, I told him no. Tell him no. Oh, 
Okay, so exit of the corner of that sort of like curve is our breaking point. Wouldn't it be funny if the final lap was our fastest because we actually nailed the breaking points? There we go, timing line was there. Nope, still messed up this one. Oh, I tried to keep it up. I tried to keep it up and I couldn't. But that is now dark orange. That is going dark orange from my rear tires. Imagine 10 laps around here. The fact is there's no pit stop. There isn't even like a just no people pit stop. You cannot go into the pits. Which is odd. Why did they not have that as an option? They could have then get endurance races and make this game bigger. Obviously not like 24 hour bike races, that'd be insane. But, like, we could have had, like, an hour-long bike race where we swap our tyres every so often. Two or three times in a race. Because that's what you do in Gran Turismo 4 anyways. You end up having to do that. Awesome. I'm definitely having to slow down now because that orange has got really dark towards the rear. I'm pretty sure though, to be like realistic, you would end up having to like have like inside, outside and middle. Hang on, no. Left, right, and middle. Because there's not an inside t of the tyres, is there? This is going really well, this lap. That's gone red. That's genuinely going red. Finally took that corner without messing up. GG to me. It wasn't even a best lap because the tyres were knackered. But there we go. That is the most damaged our tyres have ever been. Look at that. Not even the AI could save that because it was too slippy. 11 minutes, 50 seconds, 0.996. We'll take our 10 points. That is a guaranteed win. So no matter what position we come in the final race, we have got that win in the bag. Awesome. Racing modify. Yeah. There we go. We've got one more race left to go. Let's do it. Right, we are here at the final race of the Superbike 1000. This is going to be my final race of today. We finally got there. And so far, we've only lost one race, and that was in the 125cc. So, I'm probably going to forget about that race um, by the time it comes to tomorrow. I'll be like, what happened? I don't remember nothing. But uh, that race has been big today, that um, Mategi Circuit one on the 125. That was insane. Whoa, careful. Watch it. Tame the beast. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I definitely didn't break early enough, or I didn't go flat out through there and then, yeah. 
I'm making excuses that don't make sense anymore. <laughs> okay, that was horrific. There is no excuse for that. I just went too fast. 5.5 seconds we need to gain. Let's do this. I absolutely love this corner coming up. This uh, sweeping corner where we have to watch out and then slam onto the brakes in the final minute. Obviously, 1 minute 36 by the time we get out of the corner to get the 144 time, remember? That was our sort of goal for challenge mode. 136 by the final corner, else we're not going to get it. We knew before we crossed the finish line if we were going to get that target. This is pretty cool, though. Oh, no! What was that? That is the first time that has happened to me. Crap. That was not good. Nice. Awesome. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bum, ba, na, na. Awesome. Let's see if we can get that uh, second place now. May I have a second place, please? Thank you. I had to sort of uh, untuck myself and lift the bike up. Because I, I felt it doing that thing where it went at the front and flicked the tail out. And here we go. We've got an amazing overtake there. Look at that. Trying to take the corner, but we've got bikes trying to take us down. We are the best biker on the grid. Very nice. One minute 43.7 is our best lap so far. Let's see, how quick can we actually take this corner? Very nice. The uh, perfect way to take that corner is to go flat out, take the straightest line possible, and then as soon as the curve finishes on the inside, you break there. And once you break there, you will end up stopping just at the corner. It is perfect. To be honest, I think this track was built for bikes rather than cars. But I don't think this track was in Gran Turismo 4. And it's got car lines on it. I think it's also got bike lines as well. Yeah, here. Awesome. Got two more laps left to go. I think as well after this we're going to change up our character again. Make ourselves look a little bit different. Because we've obviously had the red for a while. We've had the green. We've had the yellow. I want to see if we can have uh, maybe a blue outfit. Oh, I tried a wheelie and it didn't work. Nice. 
Okay, coming up to this corner again. That corner tricks people out so much because the um, perception of it on the map is that it's not a very tight corner, but it is a 90 degree corner. But it doesn't look like it because one, it's on its side, and two, it's got a curved corner that makes it look like it's less, but it's actually more. Such... That tricks anyone out. That will trick anyone who has never played this track or this game before. Awesome. That was an amazing corner. That was the best I've taken that corner yet. The best I've taken this corner. Is this going to be a super fast lap now? Right, keep it on the inside here. And here we go Across the line Oh my days This took forever 8 minutes 35 seconds for that That is awesome And there we go We won the championship With 50 points Woo! And here we go we got some new rider gear. Very nice. We're going to equip that, add it all together. Ow. It's just one helmet. Lovely. Oh, is this another special bike with a gear? It's got a massive name. Yes, it is. Woohoo! Look at that. That's a Suzuki. A Yamashura Suzuki Jomo. I think that is. We got some special equipment and a helmet. Okay. Interested. I wonder, can you pick those special gears as riding gears? Okay, we're putting the number one on our bike. So we can have a look at that. Look at that. It's got the number one. I like how the only way you can get the number one is by winning. I think that's a really interesting and cool way of doing it. Right, but let's take a look at our riding gear. Let's have a look and see what we can put on. Right, so helmets. We've got this one now. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, we've also got this one as well. Sort of flames looking. We get loads of... Ri oh, what is that? How do I zoom in more? Can I not zoom in more? Okay. Thanks, game. Uh, I do quite like that, actually. That's quite a nice colour. Uh, we've also got a greeny-orange colour. Another colour here. What is this? Oh, that's nice. Have we got any new gloves? Are they all the same old basic stuff? Okay, so we're going to go for a blue colour. Uh, suits wise we don't have any other suits so we're gonna go for the blue version of that and we're gonna go for dark blue alpine signs as well alpine stars sorry uh, and I feel like that helmet attracted me instantly as well as um, this one the fact is helmets don't have to match in theory I think we'll go for this one. There we go. We got ourselves a nice helmet. 
And you can see on the main menu, there we go. But that has been a good recording session. Thanks for watching. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a Christmas.